Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a pub burger with a beer cheese. Oh, God. I have been craving this since the moment I thought about it. You guys stay tuned. This is the deal. We did the ground ribeye because we made the chopped cheese meets the cheese steak hero concoction the other day. And during that video, we had a little bit extra beef and I was like, golly, that'd be a good burger. We tasted it. Fantastic. I don't know some people are like, hey, a ribeye is not necessarily for burger, but honestly, why? It's great flavor and you can mix it with other uh, cuts of meat, stretch it out a little bit. If you catch one on sale, like I'm able to, then it's a all around great purpose, like, you know, beef. We like it. We're doing it. Today we're grinding. Let me show you what we got. Oh, oh, you know what? Let's go through the idea first, then I'll show you what we got. I'm telling you, my mind is not here today. I have already eaten the burger that I've not even made yet. That's how excited I am. Like so, you, you can taste it in your imagination. You can imagine what it's going to I've already like. actually eaten the whole, not even a bite. Like it's already juiced down the arm. So this idea is we made the burger and I'm like, oh man, I want to make a pub style burger. I get some comments and people are like, I don't like smash burgers. I don't like thin patties. You know what? I think there's a rhyme or reason for everything. And I can understand that. So today we're going to try to make something for those people. Thicker patty. We're going to make a homemade beer cheese. We're going to refrigerate it overnight. And then we're going to, it's going to have like four different cheeses in it. And then we're going to slice it and put that over top of our fat burger. We're going to put that beer cheese, caramelized onions on a pretzel bun with a homemade sauce. Did I get all that out? Yep. <laughs> and not freeze to death. It's all right. Cold. So this is what we got. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, we've got a big ribeye. We've already cut it, put it in the freezer. Might as well just put it out here or the froze out here just as well. And we've got beef short rib. I love the combination. This is the beer cheese that we made overnight. I don't know what got into it. Mm, maybe my <laughs> wife. But you guys check this video out. Let's make that cheese dip. I think it's the most important part of the burger. Crazy, right? All right, so this is the deal. Uh, we've got a half a block of pepper jack, a half a block of white cheddar, a half a block of sharp cheddar, and then a whole block of a Vermont white cheddar Gruyere mix. Some garlic powder, some beer, some Dijon mustard, some Worcestershire sauce, butter for the roux and flour, a little hot pepper, milk. All right, so first things first, we got our flat top on. We're getting our sauce prepared. So I'm gonna throw, uh, the recipe will be uh, listed at the flattopking.com. You guys will check it out so I don't have to go over all the measurements every single time. A lot easier for me. And you can print it out. Absolutely. I'm gonna grate all this cheese up. It doesn't matter if it's in blocks, chunks, whatever, it's all gonna melt. Now that you got all that grated, our butter has melted. I'm gonna add that quarter cup of flour. We're gonna make a blonde roux. I'm gonna cook some of that flour out just a little bit. So I'm just looking for color and for bubbling. It'll take a minute because it's on this flat top grill. It doesn't happen fast. Look, when you guys, I know a lot of people wanna deep fry on the griddle. I know a lot of people wanna put saucepans on the griddle. I understand it's not the world's greatest. Okay, it's gotta go through. It's gonna heat up your metal, then the metal's gonna heat up your metal. It takes a while and it takes a long time to recover. So I'm showing you this, but you could definitely do this and I would recommend it inside on your stove. See that bubbling right there? That's what you're looking for, okay? To that, some milk. To that, some good beer, whichever ones you like. I'm just gonna mix that together. Now remember, this is gonna take a while to come up, okay? Cold liquids, two metals, you can imagine. All right, we're gonna use about a quarter teaspoon of some red pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And now you're looking for consistency. Remember, this should be pretty thin. Your cheese has tons of thickening agents in it. It will help it go a long ways. You do not want this to be super runny. We're gonna refrigerate it. We'll get into all that. Just some fresh cracked pepper. You're, you know, you're tasting it as you go. About one teaspoon of salt. Be careful on your salt, just in case the cheeses that you guys pick have more salt components to it. Smoked Gouda was on my radar for this one. Just couldn't find it. Mm. 
This smells good already. Here's a little tip. If you guys add your cheese and your roux or mix is too hot, you have a really high chance of separating your cheese. I'd much rather you, once you combine everything, bring it up to temp. I'd much rather you add your cheese now and slowly bring it up to temp than doing it when it's too hot. Do we have any like pretzels to dip? <laughs> this smells fantastic. All right, with a little bit of patience and time or you guys can bring it inside, like I said, you'll come out with something like this. Um, I've probably been a little bit hesitant on showing you guys these. I know I've used them in some of the videos in the past. We'll have a link in the description below. I'm really liking them more and more. It just keeps um, kind of like your good stuff inside and your bad stuff outside. If it falls, the wind comes, it breaks or whatever, you're gonna crack it. They're super, super, super cheap per each. Uh, and you can do a lot of things with them. This is no different. So the idea is we're gonna add the cheese to this, let it refrigerate overnight. And then this is gonna be our sliced cheese to go on our pub burger. Went ahead and showed you guys a small one. So you got the small, medium, large, great for prep. We always talk about uh, how fast the griddle life goes when you come outside. So it's a good way to prep, bring your ingredients out and keep it separate. Just like that. See you tomorrow. All right, now that you've seen how we make it, it's the day after, you see how hard it is. All those flavors are in there. I think it's gonna go absolutely fantastic with that burger. Got our pretzel buns. I am literally shivering right now. I might have to change clothes. All right, I got my steak seasoning because we put that on our steaks and see we got the ribeye. I thought it'd be a great combination. I'm gonna pair that, or pair that with the cavenders. And then for the sauce, to mirror those flavors of the cheese, some mustard, Worcestershire sauce, mayonnaise, and garlic. Oh, the caramelized onions. What'd you do? On right here. We got onion. We're going to caramelize the onion. You guys ready? Yes. I'm going to change clothes. <laughs> All right. First things first, because this is going to take a while. I'm going to start a half an onion uh, to start getting them caramelized. I'm going to take the caramelization a little bit further than most. Um, preference, sweetness, add tons of butter, keep it off the griddle and let it go for a while. Okay. So thinly sliced. I'll do. You heating up the blade to cut the butter? Yes. Should go right through it. Perfect. We just want to get our onions in there. Not a big deal. Quick dash of salt and pepper. All right, I want the sauce to start right away. It might just help it, um, you know, like come together a little bit more. You know, sometimes the flavors help when they uh, marry together a little bit longer. So I'm just trying to eyeball it basically four burgers, probably close to a quarter cup of mayonnaise. Fancy dancy new little gadgets here. Teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Like I said, just carrying those flavors from the pub cheese, the beer cheese rather. Then a half teaspoon of garlic. You can use fresh. You can use some garlic powder if you wanted to. And it's a fresh cracked pep. Now we've debated on adding pickles. Right now we're not gonna add pickles to it. That does not mean that it doesn't change our opinion later. So we're going pickle us today. And I don't know if I like that idea or not. Let me taste. Good. I'm gonna tell you what, this was your idea too. For mm. a woman that don't know how to cook, by golly, you know how to put a dang sauce together. You've got a lot of good comments on your uh, pot breakfast potato skins. Uh, that was a my idea. A lot of comments. <laughs> I mean, that was a fantastic breakfast. So this is a good look at what the cheese looks like after it's hardened up. You can imagine, you know, you make your cheese sauce. We have a whole nother container somewhere. We're having family over on the weekend. It'd be a great idea to add like a chorizo or ground beef or something like that. You can make anything out of it. Just and, have it like it is with some Well, soft yeah, we had it off lights. camera. Yeah, yeah, crackers, anything. All right, not bad. So my idea was to slice it. Obviously, it's not going to slice. It's not going to uh, affect me one bit. So I'm just gonna come down here and just cut some chunks off. We can mold it 
and just let it melt right over the uh, the burgers. Obviously not the idea that I had in mind, but it's not gonna change my opinion one bit. Scoop it out, carve it out. I don't care, the cheese is fantastic. It just is not cut the way I thought it would. So we're gonna go with that. I'm down with it. The flavor's there and that's all that matters. Onions are still going. We got our uh, thing with jigger on here. Yep, she's working. All right, we got a ribeye and our beef rib, short rib, beef short rib cut up. Now that we got the meat that's ground up two times on the course setting, we're just gonna take the meat out, kind of make our patties. Just kind of do a quick divide, looking for four patties. So. Do you have any idea how, what the weight of your meat was? Uh, close to two pounds, because I wanted eight ounce patties. I mean, the package of the meat wasn't perfect, but you guys get the idea. That's a pretty large burger, see that? And I'm not, I'm not going to uh, pack them tight, keep them pretty loose. All right, we're just gonna work them out. Remember, they're gonna shrink up a little bit. I think my wife was a little upset that the cheese didn't work out the way we thought it would be, but you know what? To me, as long as the flavor is there, I can handle it. I'm sure there's like a scientific reason, something way smarter than me. I know there's a chemical out there that has something to do with oil, not water. I don't really don't get into that junk, but I do know that with like recipe testing and all that stuff, I didn't want to go through the whole hassle. That's just who I am. The flavor's on point, And honestly, to me, that's more important. Once it goes on the burger, it's going to melt just fine. I have no problems or no worries about that. So besides just appearance, <laughs> hey, if we're going by appearance, you've never been with me, so. <laughs> you can see how windy it is. Your seasoning is blowing. Blowing. Yeah. I'm not smashing it hard. I just want that burger to adhere to the griddle to create that crust. And then right here is our caramelized onions. They're working nicely, getting a little charred. That's what I like. They're really, really close to coming up. I'm gonna put them right here in that corner. All right, it's been about four to five minutes. I'm just gonna lay our buns on here. I'm just looking to get a little toast on there to warm them up, it's so cold outside. I want it dry. The burger is gonna be so moist and so juicy. You gotta balance that. Um, I'm looking for like a medium, probably on this burger. I wouldn't even mind medium rare. So we're gonna flip now, see if we got a crust on it. Oh yeah. Now that they're flipped, we're immediately going to put that cheese right on top. Really and truly because it's so cold outside. It's going to take a while for that cheese to warm up. I'm going to go ahead and dome it. Oh my gosh, when you put that cheese on, it automatically smelled amazing. Do you smell it? Well, if I smell it, I have to get down here. Because <laughs> the wind? Yeah. Don't take those big old jokers off. That big old mountain of cheese. All right, now we're going to build it. A little spread on the bottom. Take those caramelized onions. That char, golly. That, my friends, is what two days worth of thinking what it's going to taste like has come down to. The final moment. The beer cheese sauce was made yesterday. I've had this in my mind for like a week. Ha. 
Onion. I can tell something's good when you immediately start smiling <laughs> while you're chewing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Think about it. That. The beer is brutal on the the mayonnaise. I mean, brutal is in good. Like you get it. Like you get it. Mm. You get it. You get it. Mm. <laughs> if I had a team of chefs right beside me, no way we leave our restaurant until this was perfected. This is phenomenal. You can imagine, I could just get, get like creative in mind, right? You can imagine the lava style cheese poured over the burger and the different like creations you can make. This was just my first go at it. The flavor is on point. The execution could be different. I want to say better. It can be different, but the end result is absolutely fantastic. Well, there it is in all its glory. I just hope for a fact that you guys enjoy this one. It takes time, but it's well worth it. The flavors, it's different. The flavors are different, and that's what I like about it. If you guys are interested, we have a join button down below to where you guys can help out the channel, and we thank each and every one of you for doing so. Check us out on The Girdle Group on Facebook. I bounce ideas out for you guys all the time. Join the program, see what it's about get connected with griddles and what you guys think and we love to see what you guys are making because this is what happens thanks for watching don't forget to press that subscribe button pound the notification button share with your friends you're just thinking about getting in there and eating <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna eat yours <laughs>